What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create window louvers in Revit. But these won't be just some regular model in place a generic model a family louvers. No, these will be a parametric adaptive louvers that you can place on any window and we're actually going to be transforming a, a curtain wall into a parametric louver component so it will be uh, completely adjustable and you can kind of adapt it to any use okay but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials three times a week and also if you want to get access to all of my Revit project files that I do in all of my tutorials over two or three hundred files so far I can't keep count well uh, you can subscribe to my patreon also you can check out some of my advanced Revit courses I've done uh, six or seven so far so check out the link to my patreon in the description if you want to get access to that okay without further ado let's get into this tutorial so to create these lovers I'm just first going to start a uh, an architectural uh, template project so let's get that started and here I'm immediately going to go into the wall tool and now I'm just going to choose a uh, generic storefront curtain wall and I'm just going to place one wall over here. Now I'm going to go into 3D as this is a quite a large element. Maybe we can reduce it a bit. Maybe even here. Yeah. So we've got something workable over here. Now I'm just going to select this element and now we're going to be transforming it into a uh, louver and it will be completely parametric and of course adjustable. Now I'm going to go here into edit type and duplicate this uh, family type. So I'm just going to call this louvers and hit OK. Hopefully I spelled that right. And here we have some adjustments. So first we have a vertical and a horizontal grid and here we've got some mullions for those grids. Now first here we don't really need any vertical elements for our louvers. These will be horizontal louvers. Of course if you want to be uh, working with uh, if you want to create vertical louvers then just uh, do opposite I'm just going to here be turning off these vertical grids so and if you're doing vertical louvers then you would need to turn off horizontal grids and for now let's do horizontal louvers so we're turning off vertical grids so here for the uh, for this uh, basically grid you don't really need to change anything for the vertical grid what you need to do is go here to vertical mullions and just for the interior type you need to change it to none and if I go OK and it's just going to say delete mullions and there we go so now we deleted those also you're going to be left with these uh, lines which you can uh, just kinda unpin and then uh, you can remove them remove this one as well and you can do the same thing on the other side so you can go add and remove and re let's remove these two okay so we're left with just this kind of curtain wall with one sad <laughs> element here in the middle let's go back here and now let's add more horizontal elements for these louvers usually you would have a lot of them so I'm going to go here for uh, horizontal spacing and let's go with a maximum spacing and let's go with something smaller like 500 millimeters and we get something that looks like this we can even go with maybe 400 let's see yeah that looks even better okay and now we have one more problem as you can see here we've got these glass elements that are quite small and quite useless so what we're going to be doing is now just go here into well select the whole uh, curtain wall go into edit type and now we need to turn off that glass so just find curtain panel and uh, also here select empty so uh, empty system panel hit apply okay and now just to double check I like to go into realistic and yeah as you can see we only got these kind of construction elements now this can work as a louver but I don't really like these horizontal elements they're quite boring these mullions so let's create our own profile that we're going to be placing over here so to create that uh, profile what I'm going to be uh, doing is just creating a new profile family so for that let's go here to file to new go to family 
and let's scroll down a bit and here we have an option for profiles and you can either use a metric profile or what I prefer is to do a Malian profile so just open that up and if you were using just a regular uh, generic uh, profile you would just need to uh, select this profile usage and set it to Malian because it's usually set to generic so that's the only difference basically between these two uh, these two templates and of course all the text that you get here so basically this says interior this says exterior so we're looking at the Malian kind of like that so just make sure that you remember that and now let's use lines to create our louvers so I'm just going to go here with an arc and let's go with like this I don't know I started from 160 millimeters from here away from here so this is 160 so we need to go to 320 okay finish that let's go like this go to modify now I'm going to use the uh, mirror tool so just type in MM for shortcut select this hit enter and then select the horizontal line and there we go now I don't really like this sharp edge that we have over here so to fix that I can go here to create and go to lines and the logical approach to this would be to use just the fillet arc tool uh, and if I go to that if I do this and go like that you can do this but if I go here to maybe five millimeters yeah that will be better so let's try the same thing down here five okay that works okay so we have something that looks pretty nice looks like a louver now you might be tempted to maybe leave uh, maybe like a circular opening here for some horizontal element that's holding this in place now you don't uh, you can't really do that because uh, you have to have one closed line for these profiles they can't have openings unfortunately what you can do alternatively is load in some sort of a CAD uh, file that has all of those detail elements so in section they will show but you can't uh, use uh, just align elements to add those it needs to be one kind of loop okay so once we have this this is a, a louver in horizontal position so if we load it in over here it will just stay horizontally and what I want to have is I want to have it change and kind of adjust to different angles so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this zero degrees so I'm just going to save this file here on my desktop and I'm going to call it louver zero and save so zero four zero degrees now I'm going to load that into the project and here we go it's loaded into the project go back to the profile family select it go to rotate or use the shortcut RO and I'm just going to rotate it by 15 degrees just like that now go here to file save as just make sure you don't accidentally click save so save as family go to the same desktop and instead of louver zero let's call it louver 15 save load into project so now you have two families loaded in and you have two families saved go back here select the whole thing once again go into rotate or use the RO for shortcut and if you can't pick point 15 okay I can but if you couldn't you can just type in 15 hit enter and there we go so now this is at 30 degrees so you can go ahead again file save as so just make sure you don't go with the save icon because that will just change the 15 louver so go ahead save family and here instead of 15 let's go with 30 hit save okay and let's do one more so we can have it at 45 so 15 let's type it in 15 okay so this is now at 45 degrees and we can go ahead and uh, save oh, I accidentally clicked save so save as uh, family and let's oops come on okay let's go with 45 hit save once again okay so now we have like four families and load this one into the project and four families are loaded in so now I know that you're probably thinking okay it's easy from here you just select it go here into edit type go and find your horizontal mullions interior type and let's go and change it and there is nothing so none of these profiles that we have created so far are appearing over here and that's a problem so how do you make profiles appear here for these mullions well uh, you need to create some additional changes to this uh, project so 
When you load in profile families, they don't appear as mullions. You need to load them in in a correct place. So let's go here to project browser, scroll down a bit, and let's find, uh, let's go with families, open that up, let's search for curtain wall mullions, open that drop menu up, and as you can see here we have a bunch of categories. Maybe we can, uh, let's see, can we add a category? If I right click, yeah, we can only add a type, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and add it to these circular mullions. I guess that's the logical place. Go with a new type, just new type, and let's call it louver. And let's call it louver zero. Okay, so we have this type, right click, or you can just double click and open up its type properties. And here, just for the profile, load in that louver zero. So here is where our uh, where our family is appearing. So you can just load that one in. You can set a material if you want. So I don't know, maybe you want to set aluminum. Let's go okay. Okay, so we have that one. Uh, let's duplicate, call this one, come on, here we go. Call this one louver 15, double click, and just change this to 15, okay. Right click, duplicate. It's kind of trying to guess the increments. Unfortunately, it isn't doing a good job. So let's open this up. Okay, for some reason, we don't have the 31. Okay, I guess I messed up somewhere. So let's cancel out of this. Let's see. Let's rotate this back by 15 degrees. File, save as, family. Okay, load. Okay, perhaps I didn't load it into the project. So let's go once again over here back into the project. Okay, now we have it 30. Okay, and let's duplicate and let's call this one 45. Okay, so we just need to change the 45 one. There we go. And yeah, I think we're done. We've loaded in all of our uh, louvers within the circular mullion you know, uh, sub menu. And let's just close that all up. Go back to our 3D view here, select our curtain wall, in this case, our louvers, and let's go ahead and see if they appear. Okay, here we go. So now we can change, we can place it at this. So as you can see, they're standing like horizontally or we can go ahead into edit type and change those to maybe 15. There we go. So now they're at 15 degrees. And again, you can go into edit type and change it to 30 or even 45 if you want to kind of have it aggressively angled. Now these louvers, you can have them just like this and then you would have these kind of construction elements on both sides and you would have uh, like the upper one and the lower one or if you want to have just louvers all the way, you can go here into edit, oops, make sure you select this, of course, go into edit type and then you can change both the bottom and the top bar, bottom border and the top border to 30 hit apply and there we go we get something that looks like this and it looks actually quite cool <laughs> and if if you want to add some vertical elements in the in the middle of course then uh, what you would have to do is again you have to select it then go into edit type and then i i guess you would kind of go with maximum spacing for the vertical uh, grid go with maximum spacing and do something different like 1000 and then uh, you would add a some regular mullion over here. Hit apply, okay. Then it would probably look something like that. Now we have messed up because we have eliminated these two, so it kind of looks weird, but you get the point. You can get some vertical elements if you want in your wall. And the best part is you can kind of play around with this as much as you want because it's a parametric element, so you can kind of play around. Of course, now we're getting these mullions, so best to turn them off. None.
Let's see. Okay, I should have deleted them. There we go. And of course, the best thing about this is it's fully adjustable. So I can select this thing, go into edit profile and I can make it some weird shape. And if I hit finish, what you're going to have is something that looks kind of weird, but you still get your mullions. Now, the unfortunate part is it kind of turned the top one and the horizontal one into our uh, into our uh, uh, louvers. But you can just go ahead and go into edit type for the this, this whole family. And here at the border types, so just change it back to uh, the one that we had previously. So if you change to this, hit apply, there we go. So we've got these regular elements here and you can have louvers that look kind of weirdly uh, shaped like this. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you want to download this family again, as I said, check out my Patreon or if you want to check out some advanced Revit courses. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.